Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many opened wounds. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. You killed me. <laughs> you killed me! Oh. That was a lot.
I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. Maybe if I make something for Dee, it'll help calm me down. He says there's a plant for every pain, except heartache. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. Alice, all up in... What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Ah, here's my ID. <sighs> this place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? And you're not my child. My clan deserves better. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Grab your pay stubs, so you can get the hell out of here. Eddie loved his Mishka so much. God, the world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. I haven't had any time to sketch lately. Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. <sighs> I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. The paperwork's not down there. I can't leave without all my application stuff. Back up. You swore, Allison. It's nothing. This is nothing. Eddie. 
said he looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. God, feels like my head's full of screeching monkeys right now. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. I haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. This is personal. Marianne, what's going on with you? If you need help... Okay, focus. I'm still missing some things. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Stop sulking. Come on, Allison. Don't start. <sighs> I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Is it? Not here.
Not here. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. I could do my laundry. Ugh, maybe later. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? No phone here. Come. Mm. The ringing seems to become. Oh, well, sucks. Not deal with you right now. Chumps. God, where is it? No phone here. What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. Get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still... I was not in the right headspace to make something last night. I should try it again. <sighs> I've got enough time to carve something for Dee.
energy talent. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. This is a totally different life. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? No, he's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. Oh, I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all costs. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep, and exactly what they do to his digestion. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, <laughs> good, because I did not plan to. <sighs> I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm Beat. I know the feeling. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know, I, I've just got this feeling it's gonna fall through and, and I'm gonna be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. I'm glad you're here, Michael. 
Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh, God. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um, I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? Do it. God, everything? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... Then I've been seeing things. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Mira Alley. I hear you. Okay? I hear you. I am. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah. I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but... They're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't wanna bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. 
He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if I might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. Uh, Good here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Hey, Greg's. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now. Thought you could leave him in his mail slot. Is anyone ever gonna clean these up? God, I hope no one got hurt. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Nothing it's really. Not this guy's Just first waiting ticket. for D. Didn't Probably won't be his last either. What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. So I'm so good, sorry right? to keep you waiting, Allie, but I really need to finish this before I can break. No worries. I'm not in a rush. By the way, we need... What is Greg's up to with the security cameras? Uh, he's finally getting around to doing the upstairs cameras. He was supposed to do it months ago. This cobbler does look amazing. Greg's been whining all day about his diet, but he's not fooling anyone. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. I shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Weather's getting cold. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. 
Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and, whoo, boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh, hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on. It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. <laughs> what are you having? Trout pie and uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. We haven't had a three-pointer coffee break in a while. <laughs> you remember how that one shot of yours went wild and smashed the picture of old Chief Burke? Yep. Couldn't show my face around here for a week. Eh, well, I'll let you in on a secret. Most people hated Burke anyway. Your dad's a far better chief than he ever was. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Hmm, an animal? Like a raccoon maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Dallas Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time, and people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. 
You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Interesting. Ty, are you there? Tyler? Answer me, please. Fuck. Why is he ghosting me? God. I can't breathe. Please stop. Here before this will pass. slowing down. Hold on. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes? Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going though, come on. Wait, Chief! Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids, I, um, I went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much she's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... <laughs> this is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. Mm. 
I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. I just wish I could forget about it all Never think about it again Ever I understand Trust me, I do But there are ways to make peace with it You can't go on letting it haunt you Every waking moment <sighs> Look You're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her, something bad. I don't know what it was, but I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. Tell them. Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that, but there's no shame in getting help. Please, just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Exhausted. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility. But I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later.
You can do this. I'll probably end after the t I'll save fishing for Friday. <laughs> Good. He's here. Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <clears throat> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. And? Well, all right, uh, here she is. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. <laughs> Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. Uh, where's your brother? Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> So, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. Okay. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the haul. And I've been, uh, missing some tools I need, so. Taking a while. So, um, how's she doing? Huh? You, uh, you go to her diner sometimes, right? Your friend works there? Oh, you're trying to ask me how your ex wife is doing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we ate at the diner the other night. She was there. She had just cut all her hair off. She always wanted to do that. How was she otherwise? Sam, why don't you just talk to her yourself? I do. I talk to her. I ask about Richie and, and Dylan, too. She just doesn't really talk back. Then maybe you should respect that. Right. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. Not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. Is 
So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of a banana. <laughs> how's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Change it, huh? Honestly, physically painful. It'll be a miracle if I don't throw out my back. Let your brother do the heavy lifting. So he can throw his back out? <laughs> Not better. Junker. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but <laughs> we sure as hell are going there. I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. Impressive collection. You want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Whoa, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. Well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detailed. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. <laughs> ah! Oh, 
damn it. What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. Yeah, the gauze should be in that uh, the cupboard over there. Sam, are you our father? Jesus. <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... ...he ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it, then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look... We were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? Looking sharp, first mate, Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that... That was... Uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I work the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull. Ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. I want to... Much better. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Hey, come have a look.
Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. What's all this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. <laughs> Look at these ones. She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Marianne's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Well, are you really going to go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all I, it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Look at yourself. That's enough. How long are you going to keep feeling sorry for yourself? Are you really just going to drag Marianne behind you for the rest of your life? Give it back. No! I'm sick of watching you play town drunk! For Christ's sake, get it together! You came here looking for my help, and now you're going to stand there and judge me? Things were just fine until you two came along, digging up things that should have stayed buried. Fine? Look around you! You're living with ghosts! Get out. You're pathetic. Get out! I don't know. Who?
Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I, I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. <sighs> just... I had a time. The rest of the chapter. Bring it up on Friday. 